so this one's pretty much identical to the uh, half bridge setup I made so two gate drivers down there full bridge is actually pretty easy to lay out that's I had a lot of luck with a basic PCB layout like this for my uh, dual resident Tesla coil so I just basically laid it out the same way part of the goal of this build is keeping it simple so you know I don't have a whole bunch of TVS diode protection and all that it's just some geek some zeners on the gates you know, no flip-flop or anything like that basic uh, Schmidt trigger feedback and the dual gate drivers so that's just gonna be a random secondary I had laying around that happens to work all right at uh, 120 other coils I've tried it's you know it's like a seems like there's a huge variable I haven't quite worked out yet where I don't know if it's in the feedback propagation delay phasing whatever but you know for example in this case the output doesn't proportionally grow like I would expect it's almost like the uh, bridge is turning on just enough to discharge the caps on there and that's all you're getting you know it's like it's missing the beat and only when you get all the way up it actually lines up right and you get your output so I've noticed that to be a, a big problem with some coils more than others I'm just gonna use my main interrupter that I put the staccato controller in I'm just gonna have like one little isolation module like this so that's just an optocoupler and a 9 volt battery and I've just got a couple connectors so just put this in between a couple cables basically and I found that to be a little more reliable than uh, trying to shield that in an enclosure and ground it and all that stuff. It's just, you know, it seems like you can just isolate it that way a little further away and it runs fine. So uh, with this deal, see, I'll go ahead and cut it on. <clears throat> so this one, you can hear I've actually adjusted the interrupter to four. I probably had it maxed about right here. So you pretty much get rid of the, the popping noise altogether when you crank it up that high. So that's probably around 8, 8.4 milliseconds, something like that. It might be a little over. Um, and that popping is closer to like about quarter wave. So that's about quarter wave. And that's like the full half wave right there. that's pretty cool so that right there is not as impressive I mean that's like a foot or something that you might max out at and um, you know it's not bad for the size of the coil but it's not the same performance that I was getting on a half bridge so I'm gonna try to wind another coil people ask me about the staccato circuit so I've just kind of 
modified it a little bit here to make it more understandable really all it is is i guess as in his original circuit he's got this rail over here which makes it a little complicated but you can just envision i guess if you've got a center tap 24 volt transformer where you've got 12 volts between both legs and the common you could put a jumper there to where if you need to switch the polarity you know you just run your center tap to ground and you just pick a leg and if the one leg doesn't work then you can just put the other leg on so coming off there with a diode power and that you've got that filtered and that's running the uh it's powering the triple fives and all that and then you know you're coming in here this is providing your signal to the uh zero crossing detector here and then i've just added this change here on the c4 capacitor this is your duty cycle pot so he had it originally set to max out at the quarter wave this just sets it to max out about at the full half wave so the difference there is just that you know the quarter wave you're you're going to get your peak voltage output you really don't need to go beyond that but if you do go beyond that and you let the voltage ramp all the way back down before the drive shuts off just creates that that nicer uh, more appealing sound it's not as loud you get a little bit more beef in the arcs really the whole point of this full bridge was to see if i could take the what i thought was really great performance from this half bridge setup and just run it as a full bridge see how that worked out so obviously i don't have a uh, identical coil for this one I got set on where the primary was, I said hell that's good enough and I sort of hot glued around it. I don't really, it's too much work to really take that down but I do have an identical little pill bottle here. These are like dog pills, I don't know where you get something like this but I'm sure there's lots of bottles available out there of the same dimensions. I, I was able to use it a little bit but you know the, the voltage was too extreme on the full bridge and it started arcing over with the dimensions of this primary so obviously. The next one I wind, secondary will be identical, but I'll try to accommodate that primary you know, a little wider, try to insulate it a whole lot better. The conclusion I seem to reach was there's various kinds of coils you can use. You know, I tried a bunch um, that you can more or less get sort of the same output. The lower in frequency you go, the more branchy it's going to be. Um, but this had seemed to be the sweet spot for me. 